Hey, field agents, FBI. This is the Stanima video I have been teasing on for a while. It's going to be a long one, so let's dive into it. If you're going to do the Stanima and not do the purchases, really, it don't matter how many farms you got, uh, if it's for your main, you're running 24 hours a day. I, if you're doing 24 hours a day, you're going to have to do all the steps I'm about to show. If you don't do 24 hours a day, you can kind of get away with skipping one or two things. But I'm showing you the full setup for the 24 hours. Uh, step one. Uh, Step one, you're going to need the greens. We need that stanima 25% on all your marches. That's the equivalent of every fourth day is free, if you want to look at it like that. Say you do... Yemers four times in two months that's saying one whole event will be free <coughs> and, uh, and it's a lot if that's just uh so that's a starter um March speed's always good to have. Resource critical. Your little stamina regeneration. Eh. That's pity. That's, that's nothing. You don't make nothing off of it. Um... So, step one, get your generals in line. Step two, we're going to hit the upper right corner here. Items, or go down here, do 16 of these. That'll be the 200 and the 400s. It should go to 4,400. And buy them for 4400 And buddy, he does 800 I don't think so. I don't think it's such a good deal. But you can sort of justify it, but I do all the 200 and 400 ones. Um, so now that we got those, um, then that's an everyday thing. Do that. You're going to... Um, the dwarf apples. You I mean this is massive uh stand them off the dwarf apples. And if you're running twenty four seven you'll get we've already got three hundred right here. Alright, we got three hundred off of that ninety five, but so you get them from there. Um, you're going to want to make sure you do your arc trunk and down here on the flowers I don't cash them in until I get a hundred or ninety. I think you get better results when you do a bunch of them at one time. Let's see if I got enough flyers to do. I really don't want to cash them if I ain't got at least ninety. Because um, if you do ten or twenty or thirty, it don't seem like it gives you a lot of stamina. 
If you do 60, 70, it seems to give you a whole bunch of stamina. Where's the flowers? Okay, yeah, I've already done them. See, it says this, but I don't care. Like I said, you need to do them in bulk or you won't get... You'll get these trash things on the bottom, and you won't get the top out of them unless you do it in bulk. Hang on, I got that. Can't neglect my team. Just give me about 10 seconds. Is that a different one than what I already did? No, it's like one. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, sorry about that. Okay. So we did those. So you do your flowers. Uh, do your daily uh, stanima buys. The green is a must. Um, if you got farms, when you go to Battlefield, once you go to the black market, and leave it on the black market the entire time you're at the uh, the entire time you're at the black market leave it the entire time you're at the battlefield leave your farms running the uh, the black market Just come over here and uh, turn the bot on and just tell it to uh, tell it to do this for the whole two hours. But if not, you need to do this uh, twice a week, two two hours. Uh, weeks that you got uh, warlords and witches you might want to do three hours um, your gems uh, your gems will carry you then you get into a thing about managing gem gem uh, acquiring If, uh, you know, you, you get the eggs, you get the, uh, the undead event, you, you know, you get your events. If you're doing it on a farm, you shouldn't be using them for anything, but you should be using them to recycle back for stamina's. If you're doing it for your main, if you're not coining, then... The stanima will. You need to put that stanima. You need to put that gems back in the stanima. If you're not coining and you, it's hard to go 24 hours and not coin and build your generals up because the refines are going to kill you. 
No HGMs. Um, trying to get your greens is going to kill you too, but it's worth it. I mean, if you spend 20, 30,000 gems trying to get those greens, it's worth it. Because 3,000 gems for 10 50s, that's 10 monsters for 3,000 gems. Yeah, you'll do that every 10 minutes. So don't you think about that. So every, let's say 12 minutes, because i got to march back and forth. When you're using green, well, that's a one march, times it by four. Every 40 minutes, this y'all like to do math. Every 40 minutes you run a green and you're doing humors. You save 3,000 gems every 40 minutes that you run a green doing humors per, per green. It saves you 3,000 gems. And I can show it to you. I mean, the math's not hard to do. Uh... Jesus, I want to show up, Miss. I don't ever go this. Okay, three thousand gems for fifty, <coughs> and that's basically what they cost. Uh, 40, 40, 50. That's ten monsters. You got six marches. You easily burn. You easily burn that every ten minutes. 12 minutes for the march backs, but yeah. So that's why I said, uh, and you do it, and then you say times four because it's 25%, and that's the, the inverse operations. So yeah, every 40 minutes is uh, 3,000 gems. <laughs> All right, uh, the next thing, uh, so now we established uh, who you need and, and how we're going to get the gems. The next thing is going to be monster management. Um, you don't need to kill every monster. There's some monsters here that are just garbage. Um... If it's a farm account, you have no business killing a B-13's down. The resource to stand up my used is not efficient enough to warrant. For the main, it is because of the skips. And the resources and the extra boxes and the materials and all the extras. But for a farm, 13 down, no, it's not it's not worth it. Um Uh, he was going to keep calling. 
on the uh, goblins and turtles. They're terrible. Your farm should only be doing level fives. Your main should only be doing level fours. Four ups. Your, your farm should only be doing five ups. Witches and warlords, three ups. Uh, for farms and for your mains. Because of the ratio of resources to stamina uh, for the gain gains to cost ratio but quit killing level twos threes and four turtles it's a it's a stamina trap and unless you're just needing the uh, stones off of them I believe they give a uh, Research stones, but there, yes, yeah, it's a, it's a stamina trap. Vikings, you need gold, so your main I always need to kill Vikings. But most of our people are only doing level forty up because they give that other that other chest. Some of the farms, if you're stamina rich. Do level 40 up. Never below 40. I personally. All my farms got. Had lots of gold. So I quit doing any any of them. Because they get the gold off of the B16s. 17s. Uh, so there was no way. No need to waste. Uh, stand them on the Vikings. They get all their materials. From the Yemers. And they get all their gold from the 16s, 17s, and the 15s, because I kill 15s on them. Um, so we need to improve our monster selections. We need to do the two hour, sometimes three hours, twice a week on the black market. On your rotations. And that's if you're using using the bot. If you're doing it manual, I think that two hours can get knocked down to about 40 minutes uh, for a live person doing it. Uh, it's just inherently a lot faster. The uh, If you're having problems getting gems, uh, you should do your research and leave leave one in the ground for uh, relics. Most of the time, you can get, and it costs you forty stamina, but you can get three enough to dime. You can get. For 40 stamina, you can get three sets of slates. You can get three, uh, what do you want, three picks of the relics. And they average 600 gems on average. So it's 1,800 gems plus all the other stuff, which also sometimes they give you a stamina. Which offsets the 40. Um, and then also on the farms. Uh, sometimes. Especially on the turtle and warlord weeks. I mean the golems. No warlords. Put two in the ground. And then do three. Three in the rallies. It sounds counterintuitive now, but if you if you think about the consistency of 
the times that you got rallies and the times you don't have rallies and the times you do have rallies. The two in the ground and three, and this is main. This is for the bot setters too. If you leave two in the ground on auto do and consistently keep two in the ground and keep three in the rallies, at the end of the week, like on for us, it would be the difference between having we pulled every ten days, eleven days. And be having a nine billion. And if if I joined all the rallies, it would have maybe ten billion. But those two extra marches, you imagine how much stamina I saved. Um, a billion reason. I mean, well, a billion plus four billion. Because when I say nine, it's nine each for each resource. Thirty six. For four billion resources, but you're saving Stanima for two weeks on two marches. And you, if you run it by scale, you need to leave two in the ground, and then you know, and you know, you max our stuff out. You need the jinkos. You need to have them done correctly and all this. But leave two in the ground, three in the rally. On Viking Day, four in the ground, one in the rally, because they're mainly going to be doing Vikings. On wit Turtle Weeks, three in the ground, two in the rally. Witches and Warlord Weeks, two in the ground, three in the rally. You just flip it by one. Because the special monsters are worth more. And you know it's worth doing it. On Yemers. Zero in the ground. <laughs> All of them doing it. Because we, we go pretty hard on the Yemers. So. Um, uh, now when you get to the pan monsters. Two in the ground. Three in the rally. Only do pan fives. Sometimes if you're standing a rich, maybe pan fours. Nothing else. Because they don't need them skips. I've been collecting a couple rune stones because I wanted to rune stone out my jinkos. I, I get a little bit aggressive in everything I do, but... Most of the guys that I, I coach and we talk to, they don't. So, only level 5 pans. But you can do level 4 pans if you're wanting to, to get some rune stones built up on them. But it will eat up a lot of stamina for them two days that you could have saved. So, kind of base it on your ability, how your gems are looking. If you're comfortable with your gems progression uh, it may be a time for you to do that and uh, the special monsters you need to stay off of them the uh, the Kong monsters and all those are PvP specialty monsters your farms have no business on them you need to be on the level threes now uh, level two is kind of iffy. It's it's okay. Level one is not so much. It's a stamina trap. But, but your farm should not be on none of it. Um, so we're going to number one convert your stand, convert over to greens. Two, we're going to run the black markets. We're going to buy you daily, the 16 daily gems. You convert your apples. You always don't, never miss a 
uh, the five apples. Don't mess with the threes and the ones. Five apples. Get your flowers from the uh, the thing in the middle. Um, four hours or an hour and a half on the black market, depending on how you're doing it, manual or automatic. and uh, the monster management and now the, one other thing we didn't discuss is the hydras hydras gives chips chips is directly linked back to replenishing your stanima from the wheel you'll find my buddy told me what it was for every Hydra you kill, you'll get 60% of your stamina back. Plus, you get the resources. But I think that's only true on the H4s. He said H3s and H4s. The H2s, you get some chips back, but the conversion was a lot lower. So as the master class is I'm going to say H3s and 4s we should be targeting and apparently if you got someone on your team that's killing H5s then yeah go ahead but H2s is going to be in that, that gray zone if you got a lot of you got a lot of gems and you're able to handle it do it uh I personally do it, but I, I maintain and I manage all the accounts to be able to do it. Uh, but if my gems got real low, I, w I would pull up or put extra ones in the ground to balance it out and do the balancing act. But H3, H4 is a must. H1s, no. H2s is maybe. 3, 4, definite. So that's it. If you want to control your stamina, save it, buy it, gym convert it, monster management. Get those things in order, and you'll never have to buy any more Stanima from Ebony again. My friend, 12 accounts, 24 hours a day, months and months and months, never had to buy one pack of Stanima. Or never had to transfer a pack to the accounts just do what I'm telling y'all all right y'all uh, like and subscribe and I'll drop some more info to you on another day thanks oh. where's the camera